So here we are with 28%. That is, that doesn't feel so exciting to most of you probably. And you would be right. This is a supercharger pilot site for all electric vehicles. Even though all vehicles coming in are still Tesla. Uh, there's not a single non-Tesla here. I'm gonna try this and I will explain you something about it. Because as we are here in Naarden at the NH Hotel, there is something going on and that's... I shared a photo of the Honda e on Facebook earlier this week and somebody warned me that I shouldn't go to the Tesla supercharger they know my style so they knew I was planning to try it and they warned me because they have tried with their own Honda e I guess somewhere last month when the pilot started and they tried it more than once actually both times in Apeldoorn in the east of the Netherlands and in Apeldoorn there is a V3 installation actually so that's why I chose to visit Naarden for the first time. I have never been at the supercharger before. A, because I wanted to see the location, many stalls. And B, because this is a V2 installation. Wow, I just noticed the wheels on that X. Um, this is a V2 installation and I have this hope. Well, first of all, I hope that these people encountered a problem that hopefully uh, I will not encounter because my Honda e is Belgian and maybe it's a problem with the Dutch uh, software who knows but otherwise I hope that it might be an issue specifically related to the v3 chargers and the Honda e will hopefully do it better here at the v2 the sad thing is that I have been warned that fast charging will not work anymore at all if I try this so it feels risky and that's why I didn't arrive nearly empty uh, there's also a fast net I can still reach from here easily uh, where there is an old triple charger I can then at least use to use the type 2 because I'm curious if that will change anything and because if this upsets the BMS or the software or whatever it upsets the Tesla charging uh, yeah I hope to figure out a way to get back at fast charging myself without visiting the dealer tomorrow because tomorrow the car needs to go back to Brussels so yeah this is I'm rarely scared when fast charging but this time I don't really know what will happen I just love these camera mirrors, they make you feel like you're watching a movie and especially at a charging location that is a really funny feeling. This guy just loaded up his dog in the Model S, probably free supercharging for life. So are you as excited as I am? I am pretty excited, I can tell you. We're here at Supercharger Naarden and I checked outside we're at stall 16A so let's start this charge let's see if it fits actually so the only way to get this flap open is to press this button on the remote control and of course I left the car running so I'm gonna try to lock the car to get it to stop but no so I powered off the car I'm opening the flap with the remote control taking this Tesla plug which is pretty darn tricky with one hand trying to operate a camera and the charger at the same time so that light is flicking what does my phone say <laughs> and what does the display say huh my phone died 
that is perfect of course because the charging stopped because I stopped the car it says to wait which is usual when the charging is still starting but of course we don't really know if this charging will work because we heard the rumor that it won't so what does the outside say uh-huh so this is the v2 there's the red light so this is what i was afraid of honda and tesla not great friends Let's see what the app says. Ah, it's still logged in, but it says to avoid idle fees, move your car now. Oh no. So it's probably already charging me for it. Let's try and unplug. uh-huh so that is sad news although it was expected what does the car tell me nothing so should i try again i mean not much to lose i guess summary unavailable let's try once more 16a start the charge starting the charge okay okay yes opening you this in this case it's not a heavy plug it's just a short cable so it's a bit of a of a squeeze but the Honda manages easily but that red light that doesn't look very promising so what does it show me here it shows a blue light here it's interesting still connecting though and nothing in the display at all as if it doesn't even know we're connected to a charger so that doesn't look promising at all still a red light here very unhappy Honda E connecting charging failed an issue occurred while charging your car well that's a screenshot i will save so charging failed and that was twice already so and we know this happened to other people so i'm also not surprised what i am curious about let me close this against the rain is what will happen when we head back out to fastnet that is the scary question because how else am i going to get back to brussels with the belgian honda e exciting times are very busy here i've seen i don't know how many teslas come and go already it is amazing how many stalls are permanently in use over here at least the car behaves normal these sounds are just because i've been parking pretty tightly so 
Yeah, you wouldn't notice anything with the car after the charge. So let's find out what will happen at Fastnet. Very quiet Sunday here at Fastnet Hakalar. I'm surprised, I have to say. Welcome to the Honda E. Oh boy, here we are at Fastnet, and I will try the 50 kilowatt charger that I just tested successfully at the other side of the highway before I visited the Tesla charger. Uh oh. Pretty hilarious. I thought I could use this charger to also AC charge in case of emergency, but as you can see, there is no AC plug available. So that dream is out of the window. Luckily, I can make it home to Amsterdam with the charge I have right now, but that is really more luck than anything else. <laughs> the charger says it's got the power. Well, you gotta wonder. Charging session starting. Well, I need to plug in first. Thank you very much. So the red light is gone but what will happen i've read on the internet earlier this week that people had issues after visiting the tesla charger they couldn't fast charge anymore but i don't know at what kind of charger they tried and i know they tried a v3 supercharger by tesla and i just tested the v2 so even though I did not have a successful charge at Tesla, I can still fast charge here at Fastnet. Boom! It is already up and running again. So at least that gives me some comfort. So I can drive the machine back to Brussels, but I cannot charge at Tesla. Which is, I mean, not really an issue. Wow, these graphics are all new because um yeah there are so many fastnet stations there's now 129 fastnet stations in the netherlands and there's only 10 superchargers where everybody's welcome this plug though fastnet this plug has been red for weeks and is not fixed that's unpleasant to say the least and again we're looking at the usual speed as you can see not even a kilowatt in after kilowatt hour in after one and a half minutes but it's coming maybe it's a bit faster than last time yeah 